Dimensions aren't places, they are more like states of perception. We experience the world in 3D through all our senses, hearing, smelling, touching, tasting. It's the nature of our existence on this plane. Therefore, a better term than seeing would be perceiving. A dimension is simply a way through which reality is perceived. While the exact definition of dimensions in physics is more precise, for the sake of clarity, think of a dimension as where perception intersects with reality. Reality, at its core, is energy, everything is made up of energy. How a particular consciousness translates this energy into information dictates its dimensional perspective and the reality it can perceive. Consider vision as an example of how perception intersects with reality. We see what is known as visible light, a tiny part of the electromagnetic spectrum. This spectrum is vast, but our eyes can only perceive a small portion of it. Other creatures might see different ranges, so what is invisible to us isn't truly invisible, it's just beyond our capacity to perceive. This illustrates how our perception of energy dictates the reality we experience. All of reality is a manifestation of energy. Regardless of the physics theory you subscribe to, everything boils down to energy because energy is the fundamental cause of all events. Energy, as we perceive it, often manifests as waveforms or patterns. Our ability to recognize these patterns gives meaning to the reality we live in. Everything we see and experience is a pattern because, in the third dimension, energy moves in specific ways we interpret as waveforms. These basic patterns combine in various ways, leading to the complex world we experience. This intersection, where our consciousness meets this ineffable force, is what we call the third dimension. We are bound to perceive energy as being in constant motion because our perspective doesn't allow us to conceive of it any other way. This limitation is similar to how a 2D being cannot understand the concept of going around an obstacle, as that concept doesn't exist in its dimension. This analogy extends to us. Just as a 2D being can't perceive the third dimension, we can't fully grasp concepts beyond our dimensional perspective, such as nothingness or infinity. These ideas are simply beyond our ability to perceive because they exist in realms outside our current dimension. Dimensions, therefore, are not physical places but ways of perceiving reality. They are different perspectives through which an infinite, indescribable reality can be experienced. Within our third-dimensional perspective, our senses, sight, touch, taste, smell, hearing, combine to form our reality. But beyond this, in other dimensions, there could be entirely different ways of perceiving the same energy. The reality we perceive is just one of many possible perspectives. Mystics and spiritual figures throughout history have pointed to something beyond our understanding, often describing it in terms that resonate with the idea of dimensions, patterns within patterns, realities within realities, all infinitely detailed. When we consider the electromagnetic spectrum, for instance, we see that it's divided into many subdivisions, like gamma rays, microwaves, and visible light, each with further subdivisions. Similarly, dimensions can be seen as subdivisions of a larger, infinite reality. Each dimension offers a unique way of experiencing this reality, and within each, there are countless ways to perceive the world. As finite beings, we intersect with reality in the third dimension, but if we could perceive the full scope of this ineffable cause, we would possess total knowledge, something akin to being God. This, however, is beyond our current capabilities. What this implies is that everything is real, everything is here, but much of it is beyond our perception. Where our perception ends, another dimension begins. It's not that things don't exist, it's just that we cannot perceive them. This idea leads to the concept of the realm of forbidden thought, 
where certain ideas are impossible for us to fully grasp because they lie outside our dimensional perspective. This concept can be seen in the way logic functions within our dimension. Logic is essentially the arrangement of patterns, zeros and ones, things being on and off, energy moving up and down. This binary nature of logic is what defines our 3D perception. However, when we encounter paradoxes or ideas that seem contradictory, it is a sign that we are brushing up against the limits of our dimensional perception. Logic, as we understand it, cannot fully describe what lies beyond this boundary because it is a concept rooted in the third dimension. For example, observe the Christian creation myth of Adam and Eve, where the act of eating the forbidden fruit gave them the knowledge of good and evil. This can be seen as the birth of polarity, dualism, and the binary thinking that defines our perception of reality. This mythological transition might symbolize a deeper shift in consciousness, where humanity began to perceive reality in a more structured, logical way, a fall into the third-dimensional perspective. When we think of concepts where logic begins to break down, such as nothingness, infinity, or the solution to a paradox, we are approaching the threshold of another dimension. These concepts cannot be fully grasped within our current dimensional perspective because they exist in a realm beyond our 3D logic. The point at which logic fails is the opening to a different dimension, a different way of perceiving reality. Similarly, in physics, time is often considered the fourth dimension. While we can understand time to some extent, we cannot fully perceive it as a spatial dimension. It exists beyond our ability to visualize or comprehend fully, just as a 2D being cannot comprehend our 3D world. However, if we were able to perceive time as a fourth dimension, it would not appear as a chaotic mess of events but as something meaningful, just as our 3D world is meaningful to us. So, if we could perceive in 4D, the life of a human being wouldn't be seen as a linear sequence of events, but as a complete, meaningful object. Perhaps in this higher dimensional view, our entire lives, birth, death, and everything in between, would be understood as a single, coherent entity. In Christian eschatology, there is poetic language about humanity being a harvest to be reaped at the end of time. This aligns with the idea that there are other dimensions, possibly inhabited by forms of consciousness that perceive reality differently than we do. It's not far-fetched to think that what we perceive as chaotic or complex in our dimension might be seen as simple or orderly from a higher dimensional perspective. For example, in mathematics and physics, the existence of other dimensions is a well-established concept, even if we struggle to comprehend them fully. Is there consciousness in these other dimensions? It seems plausible to consider that consciousness itself might be an intersection with this indescribable cause, this unlanguageable phenomenon that we can only partially perceive. In this view, consciousness is something beyond energy, manifesting in different ways across various dimensions. In our third dimension, we see that consciousness fills every level of existence, humans, animals, plants, all exhibit forms of consciousness. This is why physics and metaphysics are so deeply intertwined. When we discuss dimensions, we inevitably talk about reality and perception, leading us back to the mystery of consciousness. It's a mystery that we can't fully wrap our heads around, yet it seems obvious that we occupy only a tiny sliver of a much larger, more complex reality. Imagine a being in the second dimension, such a being would be completely unaware of our existence. It wouldn't be able to perceive us because we exist in a plane beyond its comprehension. Similarly, if there are higher dimensional beings, they would be imperceptible to us. They might observe us, but we wouldn't be able to detect their presence because our perception is limited to the third dimension. This brings us to the idea that there is something greater than the sum of its parts. A human being, for instance, is more than just a collection of body parts and biological systems. All these elements come together to form a whole that is greater than its individual components. This concept applies to everything in existence, and the point at which something transitions from being one thing to another is often imperceptible to us. 
This imperceptibility is why debates about when life begins are so contentious. The exact moment when a new life starts is something we cannot observe directly, it is a transition that happens beyond our ability to perceive. I believe this transition is extradimensional, occurring at a point where our 3D logic begins to break down, indicating the presence of something beyond our comprehension. This same phenomenon likely occurs with consciousness. Our minds encounter singularities or points where our 3D perspective fails, where logic collapses because it cannot apply. At these points, consciousness may be transitioning from one state to another, possibly moving through different dimensions. Life, in this sense, is a continuous unfolding, a process of growth and deepening perception. Just as you grew and transitioned through various stages of life, consciousness may be unfolding through multiple dimensions. In this 3D plane, we are born, experience life, and pass on, but this may just be one stage in a much larger process that continues in other dimensions. As you ascend through these dimensions, your perspective deepens, much like how an adult can look back at childhood and understand the triviality of things that once seemed important. Similarly, from a higher dimension, a being might look at our 3D world and see our concerns, like money or material possessions, as insignificant. What we perceive as crises or major problems might be seen as minor, just as a child's lost ice cream seems trivial to an adult. Perhaps what we consider suffering or bad experiences are simply the result of our limited perspective, and in a higher dimension, these events are understood differently. This unfolding of consciousness through dimensions might continue until we reach a state of total perspective, often described in spiritual terms as returning to God or the source of all things. This total perspective would be one of pure absurdity, where everything and anything is possible, and logic no longer applies. In such a state, the rules of our dimension, like the laws of mathematics, would no longer hold. It's a state where contradictions can coexist, where one plus one can equal anything. This is why logic and mathematics cannot fully comprehend the concept of God or the ultimate cause of everything. Trying to use logic to grasp something so vast is like trying to catch a waterfall with a butterfly net, it's simply beyond our capacity. We often try to understand the universe using tools like logic and mathematics, which are deeply rooted in the way we perceive reality in 3D. However, when we attempt to apply these tools to concepts like God or the infinite, we quickly run into paradoxes and contradictions because these concepts exist beyond our dimensional perspective. This state is just as returning to the source, the divine, or achieving enlightenment. In this state, everything becomes possible, and the constraints of logic and physical laws no longer apply. It's a state where opposites can coexist, where all things are true simultaneously, and where the rules of our reality dissolve. In this view, the challenges and limitations we face in our current dimension are part of a larger process of growth and understanding. Just as a child learns and matures, so too does consciousness evolve as it moves through different dimensions. The things we find confusing or paradoxical in this dimension might make perfect sense in a higher dimension, where the limitations of our current understanding no longer apply. This idea is reflected in many spiritual and religious teachings, which often describe a process of enlightenment or ascension, where individuals transcend the limitations of the physical world and attain a higher state of being. In these traditions, the ultimate goal is to reach a state of unity with the divine or the universe, where all things are understood, and all contradictions are resolved. Returning to the concept of dimensions, it's important to remember that they are not physical places or states of being but ways of perceiving reality. Each dimension offers a different perspective, and as consciousness evolves, it moves through these dimensions, gaining a deeper understanding of the infinite, indescribable reality that lies beyond our current perception. This ongoing process of growth and deepening perspective is likely to continue indefinitely, with each new dimension offering a broader and more profound understanding of reality. And just as we cannot fully comprehend what lies beyond our current dimension, the path through these dimensions might be endless, with each step bringing us closer to a state of total perspective, a state where all things are possible, and the limitations of our current understanding are left behind.